Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Lotro with me, Barfellian, where once again we are questing in uh, in Dundon. So picking up where we left off last time, so uh, we helped out Andras on the road and now we've met his son, Mabon, um, and we're going over to his little homestead, which is in this kind of little valley just in the northwest of the Starkmoor. Um, so let's see what he has to say. Oh, we already spoke to him last time. Okay, then. Uh, we're going to jump straight into his instant. My Thank son awaited my homestead to provide my messenger the ledger that contains all of my records. I must have this to prepare for the auction in the village. So this is where he's basically said there's there's some Dragon Clan members poking around in uh, in their village trying to loot all their stuff. Um, looking for the valuables that this ledger said they had. Uh, my father gave you the ledger. Let us head up the hill and see what they can find. There you go. The homestead is just up the hill there. So yeah, we can see it. So they've got various various little fields and stuff. The dragon clan here? They will destroy the farm. Oh hello, sir. Your kind is not welcome here, the Vodiad. Um Well I will murder you. Um I don't know if blood's a good fertilizer, but whatever. Uh I am glad I did not try to come here all by myself. Where did they come from? I hope we do not meet any more. The homestead is just up the hill. We must push on. So he's doing a little cheer there as well. So we head further up. Same as any quest instance. Have a pull of mobs. Wander a bit further, get another pull of mobs. Uh, and then a, a big pull at the end. Uh, but it shouldn't be anything that you shouldn't be able to do on level. I think at the end we get some archers as well. Whereas these guys at the minute are all melee guys. Dunland has never been this dangerous before. You are very powerful. I am glad that my tad sent you here. It is just a little further up the hill. So he's saying tad in an accent. For dad. I hope that is the last of them. The homestead is just up the hill. There we go. The farmhouse has been abandoned by its rightful owners. That's us. You will have to make your stand here. There we go, so we have a couple of boys coming in. Uh, I think we'll get a couple of waves of them and then a big wave comes, if I remember correctly. Um, but we'll see. Should I hold our ground? But yeah, since we're a few levels over, over the top of... Uh, there you go, here comes the big pool. A few levels over the top, so they're, they're pretty easy to dispatch. Pew, 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 pew! All the Dragloofs died because the uh, the Archer Squadron has come in and saved us. Hello Blair, hello Delwyn. This strange warrior says to Mabon, The Boar Clan remembers those who aid us, and we honour our friendships. Not long ago, your father helped us in a time of need. When you are in trouble, Mabon, we will always be there for you. To you, he says. You are kind to aid this boy, Devodiad. Kindness is a dying virtue in these lands. There we go. So he's pretty cool. So notice that these guys as well have quite greeny sort of habits. I like your your. I wanted to say skirt there, but that's not the right word. Tabard. It's not really a tunic. It's too low. Um, but that that is pretty cool. I want I want one of them. <laughs> but yeah, he's. I don't know. He looks pretty old. He's quite wrinkly. Also, yeah, go for the old tattoos and that. Have you got any emblems on your clothing? You do as well. You have like a. A wolf or a warg. Sort of muddy stain on the side. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, let's speak to Mab on them. Thank you for helping me to defend our home. So there we go, he's reclaimed it now. I can speak to him and get the reward. I thank you for all of your help. I do not know who those men were, but it is clear they knew my father and were friends. I am very glad for that. So he hasn't met these people before. Um, so what tunics we got? We got that, which I think we've seen before. Uh, we have legs, which we can't see. I should probably just keep some uh, a chest-only cosmetic in my bags. Actually, I probably have got one. There we go. Um, so yeah, it's kind of like a runekeeper robe. There's uh, some runes on there. Um, if you want the legs, uh, and we have a ring, which doesn't really have any cosmetics. So um, all right, next up, the ledger. I have marked my Tad's ledger with what I remember. I don't know, I've got a bit Irish there. 
<laughs> With what I remember seeing over the past few days. I have also marked where you should be able to find the various things. Please gather them up and take them to him in Avadim. We will be leaving here soon, and I will meet you there with him once everything is ready. Thank you for all you have done for us. So, we're going to get an item in our bags now, which is uh, the ledger. If we click that, it will give us a quest, and we're going to have one quest to do. We complete that quest, we consult the ledger again, it gives us another quest. Um, and kind of rinse and repeat. It's kind of a bit like... Um, the uh, the awkward way quest line in Tinidir, Tine um, where you have a book that kind of leads you around, um, giving you stuff to do. Um, right, so first off, we need to collect carrots, and as part of the epic book, we also need to be scouting the sheep enclosure, which will also be around here. Um, so it's a it's a fairly empty carrot field, but we'll gather six of these. Um, we're probably going to end up going to each field in turn anyway as part of this ledger quest, so we'll get very well acquainted with the layout of his fields. Um, but as you can see, there is easily more than the six carrots we need. There's at least eight carrots in this field. There we go, so that completes that. So now we activate the ledger again, and now we have to collect four tanned leather hides. But note this is tanned leather, not leather... Um, not um, hides that you're going to get off the mobs, so we need to come over here. Is it at the very top? Okay, we, this is a sheep field that we need for the epic quest. So that's just activated. Let's get the bunch of strawberries. Where are we going with this? We need to go back east. Do we? How about too far away? I've just interacted with it. Silly thing. But yeah, you can see some of the some of the, the sheep are kind of like dying horribly. Um... Mount up. Actually, we need to talk to Nona as well now as well. Where was Nona? Around here somewhere. There we go. Nona, we have found dead sheep. I think this is what Lubrenin feared. I think this is what Lubrenin feared, Pendulous. The farms of the Starkmoor are not held by friendly kinsmen any longer. The main trading settlement to the south may be similar, but we will not know it. We will not know it without going there. Um, so we've got some shoulder pieces, so we've seen this one, we've seen this one, we've seen that one. Um, but it's good, you will get many options. You'll get many options to um, find each of the cosmetics. So if you, if you like all three cosmetics that you see on the first quest of reward, and you can only pick one of them, don't worry, you can get the other two later. Um, that should be the case with pretty much everything you find in Dundland. Um, so, chapter 11, Into the Dunbog. The people of the Starkmoor are on a tipping point, Pendulous. If we can help its people, we may be able to deprive Saruman of the food he needs for his armies. Travel south to Aberdeen and help the people there, and all throughout the Starkmoor. It may prove the difference in this region. Once you are satisfied that you have done all you can to help the people of the Starkmoor, I will meet you where the road passes from the Starkmoor to the Dunbog in the south by way of a great stone arch, and we will continue our journey together. So basically, help the people of the Stark more, and then move on to the next region. Um, so we can ignore the epic now for the time being. Uh, so the tanned hides should be in this hut over here. There we go, so it's flashing. So we need to collect four of these, and there's only four stands. I'm not sure if we can interact with the same stand four times. Um, nope, we can have to gather each one. So we can't cheat like we did in uh, found my address. My address. I keep always call it my my address with an A. There we go. So second quest, third quest. We now need to gather some blankets. So we're gathering all these things to basically take them to be sold in the uh, in the city. Um, the blankets in here. Yeah. Here we go. So they've been making some, some woven blankets. Presumably with... Uh, from the sheep wool, I guess. But he's kind of like a, a trader that kind of specialises in a bit of everything. He does a bit of farming, rears some animals, you know, makes some blankets, tans some leather. You know, basically anything you can do to make a bit of money, because it's a bit difficult in this part of the world. Um, but yeah, he's a civilised chap, this guy. Um... So next we need 
to collect some sheep wool. So that's back in the field up the top here. So if we just interact with these sheep, not in that way. I know we're we're basically in a in a place that's uh, analogous to, to to being in Wales, but um, it's unconfirmed what the world to do with sheep, and that's not what we're doing. It's it's screaming like bar means no, but I, I promise you, if you, I'm not interfering with it in a bad way. Um, <laughs> no, your hands are cold. Um, there we go. Four sheep. Uh, next up, we need to collect chicken eggs. I think that's in the main spot up the top here. So if we come up to the homestead now, there should be a couple of chicken coops. And here's the chickens. Right, so we need six eggs. Um, we are slightly rubber banding and lagging a little bit today. Um, that'd be two, that'd be three. Four, five, and I think there's yeah one over in, in the back there. Um, but you can actually get a chicken coop for your house. I can't remember where you get it from off the top of my head. I suspect it's probably going to be a festival, and if it was one, I'd say it's probably the spring festival. Maybe the harvest festival. Um, but yeah, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure it's a festival you can get it from. There's quite a lot of animal-related ones, but it's pretty cool because you can have the, the some chickens running around inside and some of the chickens come out to play. Um, all right, so we need to now talk to Andres and Aberdeen. So we've gathered all his stuff. Um, I'm not sure if, if allegedly we're bringing it to him or whether you know we've just meant to be gathering it for his son and his son will bring it along. I'm not sure. Um, so basically just head south. Um, and Aberdeen is this big settlement pretty much in the middle of the Starkmoor. Um, but as you can see, we're kind of like on the top of a hill. We're looking down into a valley. Um, and we'll be running around this valley quite a bit. So there we go, here's the settlement. They've basically got a gladiator arena at the back there. Um, so, you know, like, like uh, Chekhov's gun, they wouldn't have put it there if they weren't gonna use it. So um, stay tuned, <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say on the matter. Right, so this is the town then. So there is going to be a stable master in here, which we should probably tag before we start doing too much in this town. Um, and we probably need to uh, speak to someone near the entrance anyway. Get there by the stable master. Okay, so let's activate the stable master. The Upwi Rod requires us to give welcome to Devodiad. I can speak to Andres, he's arrived safely. My son told me about everything that happened and how you aided him at the homestead. It seems that some old favours I owned were satisfied while you were there. I am very grateful to you for help keeping my boy safe and bringing these goods to me. Okay, so we brought them then. Um Jacket. Not sure if we've seen we've seen that one, maybe. Uh, and then an earring and a, and a ring. So take that. Um, I am now known as Pendulous, kin of the Dunlendings. So I'm already kindred with the Dunlendings already. Not bad. Um, it's possible Pendulous had also done some Dunlending tasks in the past, so you guys might not be kindred by this point. Um, but suffice to say, you know, we've, st we've still got Stark, but pretty much all the Starkmoor, Dunbog, Caraglin, Gravenwood, more parts of the Epic going into Town of Fadris and that, all of which is going to be earning you Dunlending rep. So by the end of the questing, you're going to have more than enough um, reputation. You don't need to worry about using accelerators in this region. Uh, maybe more so for the um, for Fairdred's riders later on in the second half of the region, once we get to the Gap of Rohan, um, just because there's a bit less quests going on there. But um, for the Dunlending rep, you don't really need it. So Andras. Do not speak the names of evil things, for you will call them. You have done much good work to help me, and I am grateful for that. But I fear the most difficult parts are still ahead of us. Bedwer is the auctioneer here. He is the local leader of the Ox Clan and a very powerful man. He is also as corrupt as they come, having long ago given his will to Saruman. Unfortunately, he is an he is an evil I must deal with if I am to pay off my debts. Any transaction of noticeable size must go through his auction, and he happily takes a price from each lot. I need some time to take inventory and get everything cleaned and ready for sale. While I do that, you go talk with Bedwer and secure a position in the upcoming auction. You can find him near the centre of town by the auction platform. 
And we've got another quest here. Do not speak the names of evil things, for you will call them. A week ago, I had a fully running stable here. You may have noticed that we do not have any horses here anymore. I suppose that is, well, because I do not have anything to feed them. I also do not have anyone to take care of them. My stable boy left because his father was taken to Wolf's Cleft to serve the army. The boy ran off to work the feeds and scavenge the moor to provide for his mother and siblings. Had he stopped and talked to me, I would have helped however I could. I believe the boy is here, in Aberdeen. Please find him and let him know that I will provide for his family. Once he returns, we can work on the rest of the stable. So yeah, they're, they're pretty run down. The Ox Clan are being uh, bullies as usual. Um, but I can't remember if, if these guys are the, are the Boar Clan or not. Um, so this is the guy we need to talk to in a minute. Um, but since I've just seen the other quest ring up here. Ah, this is the boy we need to speak to. The Anto. Lavella says he would pay me enough to take care of my mum and my brothers and sisters. Of course I would go back then. I should have asked him to begin with. There we go. Um, are there any quests up this way that have activated? No. Okay, so let's speak to the auctioneer guy then, Bedver. I have not seen your kind before. So you represent Andras, do you? Devoldiad. I hope he has brought you something worth selling this time. I do not tolerate my time being spent and my money being wasted. I am, the have need of help on occasion. I am more than willing to help out. However, auctions are very time consuming and I have a reputation to maintain. I need assurances that there will be enough merchants in attendance to make it worth my time. If you can convince several of the other merchants around Aberdeen to participate, then I will consider putting together an auction for you. But I caution you, do not waste my time, Duvoriad. There is very little I tolerate, less than someone wasting my money. Or it's time. Because it's probably not going to cost me any money to put it on. Um, okay, so we have to convince merchants. And some merchants we have a uh, quest for as well. So. Do not speak the names of evil things, or you will call them. You are preparing an auction? Yes, I am interested. <laughs> Yes, I am interested. I am in need of cattle, for I sold my last ones to the war effort. I made a decent profit, but I fear I sold too many. The walk packs to the east devoured the few I had left. I am willing to buy more, but not until I know my investment is safe and secure. If you were to head into the hills east of here, to rock the walks call home, and thin their numbers, I will consider coming to the auction to buy cattle. Okay, so we have to uh, do some quests before we can convince them to come to the auction. So there's going to be probably a quest for each of these guys. As long as the sun shines, you are welcome here. You are looking for more sellers for the auction? I have a necklace, for which I am nearly done with, and almost ready to sell. It is crafted of wog teeth. The lendings who wear them are powerful and demand respect from all around them, whether they retrieve the teeth themselves or not. There is one last tooth which I need to finish this necklace then it will be ready for sale. On the rock to the east is a powerful warg, larger than the rest, called Holmgrat. I have no idea what that means. His tooth shall be the centerpiece of this necklace. Bring it to me, and I shall sell in your auction. We could get all of his teeth, to be fair. I mean, I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure he just wants the biggest fang that this guy's had, um, so he can stick it on the front and centre of the necklace. Um, hello, I found your uh, stable boy. With the boy returning, I can now turn my attention to the stable. The Tertnuth have been destroyed. I pray to the Uch Wirad that we will not be next. The stable boy is returning, which pleases me. It means that we have a chance to renew the stable's business. The next step is obtain supplies for the horses. There's a missing word to obtain supplies in there, but whatever. Um, the boy would take care of getting everything straightened back up. I dare not send him into the fields to gather more supplies, though, and we are in desperate need of hay. Yes, there are no horses to feed, but without food you cannot have any horses. The fields of the moors to the east have some haystalks in them that were not gathered for harvest. If you can bring several of them back, and the only one left will be... Ah, oh, pardon me. My hay is playing up terribly today. 
uh, then the only thing left to do would be to get the actual horses. So there we go. Uh, da, 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 da. Where are the other guys? Presumably they're over to the west. Here we go. So there's Ava. Hear me out, Duvodian, for I have a tale to tell. An auction, you say? I wish to trade cattle. I have saved enough to buy many tags, and my uncle is willing to give me several head from his herd. I have the land for them to graze on, but not the means to keep them safe. If you are venturing to the great rock to the east, you will find several smaller stones around it. With enough of them, I can build an enclosure around my land to keep my cattle safe. If you bring me the stones, I will attend the auction. Now bear in mind, we're only collecting eight stones, but if we were to collect enough stones to build a, a proper enclosure, that would take for ages. It'd be horrible. You'd have to pay me for that. I think the last person we need is up in the at the north over here. Maybe. Yes, there they are. Uh, Havina. Let's move that from the tracker, just because that's the rapper quest. The Turkluth have been destroyed. I pray to the Ochguira that we will not be next. Herding is the fastest way to make money here in Aberdeen, presuming you have the right connections and enough money to start with. The clan tightly controls who, ha who can have cattle and how many. There are tags that are sold and attached to the animals. If any animal is found without a tag, it is brought to auction and Bedver Cop keeps whatever the profit is. He is also the one who sells the tags. He probably is able to remove the tags and then sell it anyway. He's got a dirty business on the side. He's corrupt, I'll tell you that. I had a herd of cattle that strayed too far to the east, and many were devoured by the wargs. I had so sold their herdsmen to the mines to regain some of my losses. That's a bit harsh. You, you've literally sold your workers into slavery. Shame on you. Um, but now I need enough to get started again. If you can get me the tags from my dead cattle, I will sell them at auction. They can be found around the rock to the east. So I need to collect four cattle tags. Um, so as you can probably see, pretty much all of our quests now are going to be sending us east. So there's the rock down here, slightly southeast, and the haze is going to be slightly east of us. But um, I think that's probably enough for this this time then. And uh, next episode, we will head eastwards and slay some wargs. So until then, see you guys next time. <laughs>